know if y'all want your birth charts read to you or if y'all want your life path numbers read hit me up what if they lied and said hey you know Udo's not playing anymore but really we own that bitch right now it's so easy to point the finger but are you gonna take responsibility and let that person have power over you? Are you gonna let a situation stop you from meeting people and getting to know yourself and, be, and, and to accomplish goals? I don't think so. Hello, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back with another video. I'm not doing any readings today. I'm doing readings tomorrow. I will only do readings on Monday and Wednesday, but keep on asking throughout the whole week if you want a life path number reading or a birth chart reading just let me know um hit me up and i'll record it or i'll video chat you however you feel comfortable but that's not what this video is about i wanted to do this video oh you good a little shaky okay <laughs> i want to do this video talking about just the title you know help uh help only help when people want to help only help people who want to help themselves and the reason why I wanted to make this video is because this is a lesson that I'm learning for myself even being in the field that I'm in now definitely has taught me a lot of things about myself and how to look at other people and just how other people think and stuff like that and I wanted to talk about toxic friends for a second because that's like Okay, that's like the biggest thing, like like friends. Friends, how many of us have them? Friends, ones they can't depend on. We can depend on, girl, you don't even know the lyrics. Let's be friends. Okay, and you know the song, okay? Houdini, classic. I was not born yet when it came out, but classic, okay? In order to appreciate the new shit, you gotta go back and appreciate the old shit. That's just how things work. Um... <laughs> anyway um and just being toxic in general and i want to talk about energies attracting energies because that has a lot to do with what i'm going to talk about um we all have dealt with toxic friends maybe we've been the toxic friend you know and it's not a bad thing you know you live and you learn and you grow um speaking from my experience um i definitely was a toxic ass person um i'm still working on myself I used to put people down like if you didn't think the way that I thought, if you didn't feel the way that I felt, I attacked you. I called you dumb, stupid. I'm someone who, I'm, I'm spiritual but I'm not religious. I used to study with Jehovah's Witnesses and I used to put Jehovah's Witnesses down like crazy. I don't do that anymore because I just feel like you believe what you believe in and we all are entitled to believe whatever we want. I just feel like the religion is just not for me per se. I don't need religion to guide my life. Um, however, other people may need it and it may, you know, help them into becoming a spiritual person. So I no longer, you know, judge people who are involved with religion. I used to very badly. Like I used to, I'm looking at these cars. <laughs> I used to so bad. Like if you didn't believe in high spirituality like I did, I called you dumb, stupid, um, you're a follower, um, all that I did. Um, very, very toxic. Um, I don't know, I used to walk around with this attitude. Like there was a point in time in my life where I felt so low. Actually, I felt low. It's not even that point in time. I mean, I, I, I don't feel like that anymore. but. It was like two different lows. Like one low was that I just feel so low by myself that I would put myself down. And then the second low is like I felt low, but I tried to hide it by being cocky and putting other people down. And I just feel like people who, like I was the type, like you know people that wish death on people all the time? I was that type of person who wished death on people all the time. And because I wanted, I guess at one point in my life I wanted to die. Like I tried to commit suicide three times and three is my life path number so three three is a very mystical number to me um it stands for creativity and, and things like that expression which i'm full of all that but um i did so first i tried to like i guess i wish death on myself and then it turned into 
since I can't die, I want other people to die. Like, it, it, it was so weird. Whatever it was, it was very, very toxic. And then you are who you attract. So if you're a toxic person, then you're going to attract people who are just like you. And I did. I had one friend. I'm not going to say she's not my friend anymore. We just don't really talk. We don't really communicate that much. And I just feel like maybe I did something to her that, and maybe she felt like I was toxic. But in the same respect, I kind of felt like she was toxic. I think we kind of just, it's one of those friendships where it's just the time limit has just ex expired. Nobody really did anything wrong. It wasn't like she did something that I was just like, oh, I'm not going to be her friend anymore. And I didn't do anything to her to make her think like, oh, at least I don't think so. If I did, I hope, she, I wish she would have communicated that with me. But it's just one of those friendships where it's just like it's ran its course and it's just time to end it excuse me why am i sipping that like it's tea then i had another friendship actually two other friendships very very toxic one of my friends at the time she was and may not still be an alcoholic and I tried to get her off. In fact, she was the, one of the reasons why I'm in the field that I'm in now. But it was like, I don't know. I don't know what I did to this girl. But she, she put me in a dangerous situation that I could have really been hurt. You know what I mean? I don't know what I did to her. I don't know. But she put me in a bad situation. We did um, come together and kind of apologize because I did. I, I kind of embarrassed her in front of her friends. Um, when I found out that she was trying to like plot on me and I didn't have to do that like I could have pulled her to the side and just you know stated how I really felt but because I was so toxic back then like to me I was the type of person like if you made a fool out of me especially publicly I was gonna do that to you too that's that's that Gemini in me <laughs> you do it to me I do it to you but that's not the way to be you know and then the second friend I had oh my god <laughs> I don't know what I did to deserve this friend <laughs> I don't I don't because at this point when I met her I wasn't as bad as I was like I still was you know I was I had my first spiritual awakening and things like that our friendship kind of just slowly deteriorated I talked about her in a few videos I mentioned her in one of my story times that I did um, the first story time I did um, she was the other woman and we became friends um, her name starts with a D Okay, her name starts with a D. Um, she was just, I thought she was cool. You know, she 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 had a lot of, you know, toxic energy in her. But I, I felt like I could change her. I could help her because she reminded me so much of myself when I was real toxic like that. Like, she would wish death on people. She would cause drama. You know, it didn't matter what she did. You know, she was always in drama. But then it's just like, she, it's kind of she was like a user like she used me to do things for her she used me for everything and and it was like if i did things for her i was like the bestest friend ever but the, the moment i couldn't do something for her it's oh you don't understand jasmine um shut the f up and f you and this and that and you don't care and it's just like what are you talking about so we were in a situation that could have got us both kicked out of school actually not even me kicked out of school she could she could have got kicked out of school she was involved in a situation she cussed out one of my friends and um i just happened to be there and um i had a decision to make whether or not i was going to save her or i was just going you know snitch and rat on her and just but it really was no need to rat because everything was on caught on camera so it was no need to rat and I couldn't really rat on her because I didn't know what was really going on because she kept switching her story back and forth. And just to give you the gist of how stupid this drama was, this this whole thing started over Applebee's. That's how dumb. I, I'm just trying to figure out, like, why are you causing all this drama over Applebee's? So I had to cut her off and it was, it was a long time coming, you know mentally i already cut her off because she was she i would do things for her and then she'll treat me like shit and have an attitude with me all because because my thing is i understand you're going through stuff boo but don't take your anger out on me i'm trying to help you so when you have people like that in your life you gotta let that person go because you don't need that type of energy and like i said you are who you attract so obviously something was wrong with my energy that i even attracted her you know what i mean and when your energy is good 
you attract like-minded people. And I can tell my energy is better because I'm attracting good people in my life. You know what I mean? But once upon a time, I was not even to the guys I talk to. Like the guys I talk to now, not my saying that they all the way good, but they they got good energy though. I'm not saying that it worked like it could work but what i'm saying is they have good energy they know what they doing is wrong and they will actually come up and apologize whereas the other guys that were attracting back then they didn't care about my feelings they didn't care at all you know they they treated me like shit because i didn't love myself so much and i felt like at the time at least at you know earlier like in my 20s i felt like i needed the guy to make me feel good about myself and i'm just like no i don't like why can't i feel good about myself like, I can look in the mirror and tell myself I'm beautiful. I don't need a guy to do that. I don't need anyone to do that, you know? But it's an internal thing. It's internal. So, like, if, you walk, like, if you're walking around angry, like, okay. Lincoln Heights. One of my favorite ch childhood shows. That show used to be fire. It was the episode where Lizzie got kidnapped. And in the beginning, Lizzie had a bad attitude. So, the father was like, listen. If you come across one jackass, they're in the wrong. If you come across two jackasses, maybe you're having a bad day. But if you come across three jackasses or more, you have the problem. So if you are just blaming the world for your problems, oh, the whole world is against me. It seems like the whole world is against me. No, the whole world is not. There's something wrong with your energy and you need to check yourself. Figure out. And then on, on top of that too, what I realized when it comes to toxic people, you, only can, you can only help people if they want the help. You can't save somebody that don't want to be saved staring at me <laughs> and that's just the bottom line you cannot save someone who doesn't want to be saved and that's the honest to god truth and that's what this this field of human services is teaching me that we are not we, we're not trying to help i mean we are trying to help people get off drugs but we're not making people get off drugs they come to us if they want the help if they don't want the help then they come back when they're ready you know what i mean and that's what it is you only help people who want to help themselves and when you love yourself then you attract people who also love themselves and they want to share that with you and you want to share it with them I hope I'm making sense in this video I just wanted to make this video so bad because I know it's all over the place but just bottom line is try get your energy together so you can attract like-minded people and you guys can help each other out there's no point of helping up helping out a toxic person who don't want help for what it's like talking to a brick wall for what you know everybody can't wake up and that's the honest to god truth um that's it though so make sure you subscribe and comment let me know how y'all feel about this video if y'all want readings everything's in the description to contact me um it's free right now so get it while they're free now because next month i may start charging but um i'll see you guys when i see you guys